Hi, I'm Brandon Solis with The Daily Toreador, and this is my staff, and we'll be talking about the Big 12, our predictions for the tournament in March Madness. We started off with Kansas. I think Kansas is going to... I think Kansas is going to do better than Oklahoma, personally. I think Oklahoma could upset. I really you do. Think? I think they're I think they're a really good team. I got to see them a couple times play against Tech, and I really think they're a strong team, and they could... They could go under the radar as one of the top teams in the tournament this year. I think Oklahoma's better than Kansas, too. I'm going to have to agree on that. Last year, um, Kansas it was always was a favorite, but they lost to Iowa State. So, I mean, Kansas did win the regular season, mm -hmm. but tournament rounds are completely different. I, I think I just think they can carry momentum. Terry Ellis wins something. I just I see that. Buddy's good. Buddy's really good. But I just don't think they can. But West Virginia as well. Don't forget about West Virginia. I think the press can only take them so far. I'm not really a believer in West Virginia. Uh, I could see them get knocked out first or second round. Yeah, they're not going to be as good as predicted. I mean, I was looking at some earlier. It was a uh, per as the NCAA in an article I was reading. They said you had to shoot really well. You had to have a good offense. You had to shoot the three accurately, which we do. You had to have an average defense, which we do, and we rebound. I don't think we shoot the three that well. We do. Some players do. We, As a team, I don't think. Yeah, we hesitate. We try to drive it in. Ross shoots it from the key. We can sometimes find the corner three with Gokshire, but. I can see us beating West Virginia in the Big 12, in the Big 12 tournament. After they beat TCU. After they beat TCU, and then whoever they play in the next one, it's going to be a 50-50, most likely we don't get past that, but in the NCAA, I can see them having a chance to advancing farther than the first round. For Tech, I see them winning probably one game and then getting knocked out in the next round. Historically, that's usually Historically. what happens. It's we do have those times where we go to the Sweet 16, but I mean, It'd be if if we do advance, I, I've seen some brackets pairing us with Virginia, which is a team that's been hot oh, yeah. the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. But then again, ACC sometimes doesn't come through tournament yeah. time, especially the top teams. But keep in mind, this is a team that hasn't been to the tournament in almost a decade. So it's true. the only one who has experience playing in the NCAA tournament is tubby. And yeah, coaching can only take you so far. But, I mean, they can pick up two wins, but making a Sweet 16 is going to be a stretch. I think Long Texas win. is interesting because they've always been a pretty disappointing team in the tournament. They get knocked out a lot earlier than they shoot a lot of times, but first year with Shaka Smart, it'll be interesting to see if they have a, a different culture this year. Um, I don't expect them to make any noise in the tournament. Who would be the one team to drop the ball in the Big 12 in the NCAA tournament. Texas. Texas. Yes. Yeah, Texas. Or West Virginia. I think it's going to be West Virginia. West, I was going to say West Virginia, but Texas, yeah, I feel like Texas. So who's going to be the, the last standing Big 12 school then? Kansas. Oklahoma. Do they win it all? No, no they don't win it all. Uh, Elite Eight, yes. Final Four, maybe. I don't know. I mean, all those other schools are just. I think Kansas or Oklahoma is a lock for the Final Four. One of those teams is going to be in the Final Four. I say four. Elite Eight. I don't know about Final Four because there's always that team to come up from behind you that you don't see coming. So I don't know if it's a lock for the Final Four, but it's a lock for the Elite Eight. Who would surprise you the most out of the Big 12 to at least, let's say, make it into the Sweet 16? Uh, Tech would surprise me if they make it there, but I could see it happening. Baylor. Baylor. Mm -hmm. Baylor. Good They're kind of been under Baylor. the radar. Yep. I mean, when you think about teams in the Big 12, it's all right now it's just Oklahoma and Kansas. Kansas. It doesn't really go farther than that. Oh, okay, maybe Iowa State with George Niang, but Baylor, it's kind of going under the radar here. I mm -hmm. mean, they got some, they got a pretty good set of players with Motley and Rico Gathers, so they can they can get those rebounds and do better on that. Team. They could they could surprise. So who do you have winning it all? Winning it all, at a, not out of the big one, just the whole. Mark, who do you? Who do you yeah, right it's early, no bracket yet, but who do you? Right now, as the season stands, North Carolina. Okay. North Carolina. It's a tough call right now, but yeah. I was thinking Oklahoma or North Carolina. I was going to say North Carolina. So. No, Oklahoma. <laughs> no. I'm pulling for I'm pulling for Nova. Nova. I did think at one point it would be Maryland, but the last yeah, stretch of the season was a little rough. 
but I'm North Carolina is that was that surprising me, but hey, I guess we'll see. You know, after spring break, all this gets rolling. So.